drink, we drink and drink to Lily, the pink, the pink, the pink, the savior of the human race. She invented medicinal compound, most efficacious in every case. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone and happy St. Patrick's Day! For Irish dancers, this is one of our favorite times of the year because we get to go out and perform in different pubs or just normal restaurants and schools and we get to show off our talents and our skills to people where it isn't just a competition, which is highly stressful. This is definitely very fun. So we get to go around and just perform and have a blast with our troupe and I love it. I think St. Patrick's Day is so much fun. So you just try to avoid getting beer spilled on you like I did one year. Well, I almost had it spill on me. I avoided it by this much, which is pretty darn good. So on March 17th, I've never really gotten to partake in the normal festivities and wear green with my fellow lads and lasses. Instead, I am wearing all black and I am dancing all around town and wearing my performance makeup. So if you're interested in seeing what that looks like, you can click right up here. Shameless little plug for another makeup tutorial, but hey, you know, you might be interested. So today's tutorial is a requested video for a more subtle look for St. Patrick's Day. When I typed into YouTube St. Patrick's Day makeup tutorial, I got a lot of deep emeralds with winged liner and we're talking winged liner. So today I wanted to do something that was just a pop of green and do some um, coppers and neutral tones that really complemented it so that the pop of green is really just right here. And I really like how it turned out. I was just kind of winging it during today's tutorial and I'm quite happy with it. So if you would like to make sure you don't miss out on any of my future videos, please go ahead and click or tap that subscribe button below. You know what to do. And also if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. All right, now let's jump right in to the makeup tutorial. <laughs> Trying a new organization technique over here and it's not as organized as I would have liked it, but you know. So I'm just going to quickly prime my eyes using Too Faced Shadow Insurance and MAC Painterly Paint Pot. If you have oily eyelids, this is the best combination for you. So I'll be right back. So now that I've primed my eyes, I'm going to grab this chamois nude, chamois something. Shammy Nude by Coastal Scents. These are all Coastal Scents shades, by the way. My absolute favorite eyeshadow brand. I can't get away from using them. And I filled up four Z palettes completely full of these shadows. And if you'd like to check out my whole collection and all the swatches, you can click up there to check it out. So now I'm going to pick up my Luxie 229 Tapered Blending Brush, dip it into the shade oatmeal tan like so and use it as my transition shade so I'm just putting this into the crease of my eye it's actually a little bit higher than my crease because I do have hooded eyes so if you want to open up your eyeballs when you have hooded eyes putting your crease a little bit higher up gives you the illusion of bigger wider more open eyes now that that's on and blended-ish, I'm going to pick up my Sigma E25 brush and Coastal Scents Kiwi Green and just dip it in, blow off any of the excess, and then put this into the outer corner. So I'm going for green out here, copper in here, and this great transition shade that will really pull it all together. So just keeping it nice and blended. Dryer's done, if you can hear any dinging. <laughs> oh, I guess I should tell you what I'm doing. I picked up my Lexi brush, dipped it back into oatmeal tan, and I'm just adding a little bit on the outer edge of this because I feel like the other side shows a little bit more, but I'm gonna intensify this too. So now I'm going to pick up this brush here. This is the crown brush that looks like this because there's no identifying words on here and just whisk away any of the fallout. So now I'm going to grab my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but this time it is the glitter glue and I'm going to place it one lid at a time right 
where I want this copper shade to be. And I believe the shade I'm working with is called Copper Pot. Just like the gold at the end of the rainbow. So then I'm going to pick up the shade and place it right on to the glitter glue. Love this color. Hmm. Should have grabbed tissues. So we're just gonna clean off our hands like this. Very professional. So now I'm picking up more, whatever this is, kiwi green, and just going to place this right in like the circle. It's not really a circle, half circle right around the copper, because I want to keep it very much just on the lid. Especially this guy, because he went up a little too high. So now I'm going to go into Oatmeal Tan. This is the shade we used as our transition shade, and I'm going to bring it all along my lower lash line. Okie dokie, now on to highlighting. I'm going to grab Caramel Ice, which is my favorite highlighting shade from Coastal Scents. It's the perfect amount of highlight and reflection without it being like too beaming. Now on the Anacones. Now I'm grabbing the scariest tool in the makeup bag. Lash curler. I remember there was a time I swore I'm never gonna curl my lashes. It's so scary. I'm gonna pull them all out. And now, it's one of my favorite things to do because it makes such a big difference. Love it. Although it does look really creepy when I'm editing. So now I'm going to grab my Catrice Cole Kajal in Ultra Black. And I should have sharpened this. <laughs> so now just a small line. And you don't necessarily have to do liner with this look, but since I'm doing lashes, I really wanna make sure that they blend in with the lash line. So liner always for me and no wing today. Super simple up top. Now I'm going to pick up this Sigma pencil E30 and dip it into the shade Olive Wood by, again, Coastal Scents, just to add a little green touch to the liner. You can hardly tell, but I like the little details. Now for the other creepy part of the video, dig through this, my Maybelline Define a Line to tight line my eyeballs. So I just kind of look down as I'm doing it. And then up like this when I'm doing the lower ones. Prevents it from being as terrifying as it actually is. So now, Benefit Roller Lash. You all know how much I love this. I've been using it, gosh, since it first came out. Now, for the most uh, slightly stressful part of this makeup tutorial, <laughs> lashes. Because it either goes really smoothly or really badly. So, let's hope it's the former today. These are Cocoa Lashes in the style Marilyn. And just going to kind of wiggle them to give them a little bit of bend. I think I've worn these once before. Yes, please. Guess I can show you what I'm doing here. So I'm going to set those aside. Ah! No! It just glue itself to the floor. How many dog hairs are on this now? <laughs> that one smoothly. So I'm first going to grab my Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 3C. 
overline just a little bit. Today is an exciting day for me in terms of wearing lipstick because I actually severely damaged my lips last week because I thought it would be a good idea to use the Clarisonic cleanser, um, the actual like machine, on my lips because I was thinking it would exfoliate it but instead, it, well, it exfoliated it but it also feels like it removed <laughs> a whole layer of my lips and I had this big bump right here that was super 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 painful. So today's the first day I've been able to put really anything on my lips beyond just putting Aquaphor on it. So today is a day for celebration. So now I'm going to grab Max Velvet Teddy and just fill in the spots where it's obviously needed. I will never get over how much I love the smell of MAC lipsticks. The best. Then I'm going to grab my ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Fairy Floss and place it right on top. So now I believe my Marilyn's are ready to put on, so uh, say a prayer for me, would ya? <laughs> no gloss on the teeth. You could say lashes make a bit of a difference. Hmm. So now I'm going to let those sit on my lids for a little bit before I put my Stilet liquid liner over top. This is Milani's blush in Luminoso, which had its own YouTube craze last year. People are still raving about it. That's because it's a really great peachy neutral blush. Okay, that lash is too far in on my eye. That's the weird thing. Okay, I'll better. And then I've discovered a miracle product and it's by Soap and & Glory and it's called One Heck of a Blot and it's their powder. And so I will grab this big Gunga brush that's almost the size of my face. It is so dark. The sun cannot decide whether it wants it to be out or if it wants to just play hide and seek. So I'm going to grab this big powder brush from IT Cosmetics. It's the Brilliant Powder Blush. And place it right on top of the blush I just laid down. It's this amazing powder that makes whatever you put on your face all of a sudden look perfect. Love this stuff. <laughs> so now for highlight, I'm going to grab my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Blush. Pick it up and put it on my cheekbones. <laughs> on to what I believe is the last step of the makeup look. This is my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner that I like to place right over top of the lashes to cover up any lash glue that may be showing. Just gives it a nice polished, completed, and perfected look. If you would like to become virtual frenzies, please click that red rectangle down below, and you can also click on that profile picture right over here. It's round, but I have been informed that these don't always show up. So that red rectangle is a really good guarantee of subscribing so you don't miss out on, on any of me in the future. Also, if you'd like to see other videos by me, I have some linked down below and one should be linked over here. Rumor has it, it's showing up over here. Also, if you'd like to remind yourself of all the products I used here in today's video, they will be linked down below. Just click show more or click that downward facing arrow if you are on a mobile. All right, my darlings, I love you all dearly and I will see you next time in my new video. And remember, be kind, be smart, and be glamorous. Sláinte!